Hello, this is Eric. And I'm Tiffany. We are Terrific Pace Gaming, and we are with... Just Got Played. And today we're going to be unboxing Aquatica, which, as you can see, is a game of simple diving, deep strategies. <laughs> <laughs> this is a game by Ivan Tobovsky, uh, published by Arcane Wonders and Cosmodome, Cosmodrome Games. Yes. Indeed. Yes. And... It is for uh, Fish 14 and older. One to four kings and queens can play this game, and it's going to take about 60 stingrays or 60 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> Am I right? Indeed. <laughs> oh, I actually set it up there, too. It did. That's convenient, because there have been many times that I've been looking for that on a box and cannot Can't find, find it. it at all. Yeah, I hear you. It's frustrating. Yes, indeed. I like their iconography, too. Oh, of the fishes in the, the stage. Yeah, it's cute. Excellent. So, uh, apparently the deep waters of the ocean are hiding many secrets and unknown creatures. Among sharks, whales, corals, and shrimps, there lives an entire yes. civilization of sea folk. So, cool. Oh, no, it's a pretty, pretty box. It's very pretty. It looks like it's really great um, material. Do you want me to help? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Gravity <laughs> was working. Gravity always works. <laughs> All right, what do we have here? This is, looks like some cards. Some cards. And I would assume the game board. Some boards. Oh, tell me more. This is a game, um, it's kind of a, a hand building semi worker placement game. So here is the, the board that we're going to be playing on. Oh, it probably works better this way. Um, Mm, I can give you a very brief overview. This is where your stingray, stingrays go. This is where the cards go. All right. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. All right. What do you got there? Mine's kind of important. Um, and that's why it's got this exclamation mark on it. It's these two cards are replacements for Soul the Great and Adela the Liberator. Uh, king cards found in the box. Please use, these, please use these new cards and dispose of the originals. Thank you for playing. Oh, interesting. So that's good to know. You're going to want to um, fish out those cards. Fish <laughs> out those cards. <laughs> I am on it today. And uh, replace something. them yeah. with these. All right. We got the rule book here at the top. We got about 30 pages. Interesting. I don't remember this as being that difficult of a game. It doesn't it look like a lot of spaces empty yeah, and left. A lot for, of empty, big fonts, yeah. artwork. I think wow. it's great. I appreciate the layout of this very much. That's really pretty. All the artwork in this game is fantastic. Yeah. Not enough underwater games in this man's opinion. I agree. Uh, plus, we need to decorate one room on our house as an underwater theme, and we need more posters and things like that to go on those walls. Indeed. Please get on that, people. Yeah. Thank you very much. Underneath there, we have the player boards and a couple of punch outs. What do you want? Uh, I'll do player boards. Okay. So, the player boards. going to need cards for. Yes, indeed, because they are actually multi layer. Yeah. You can see that. All right. I, so we let's, watched a video on this, didn't we? we? I remember this. this. Yes. All right. If you want to set those aside for a second, Absolutely. maybe get some cards going on. We can show how those work. Okie dokie, okay. Pretty nice insert, by the way. Yay. Spot for everything, or uh, as they say, a place for everything. And everything in its everything place. Everything in its place. Yes. I'm not really sure what these are that I'm punching out, but that was fairly simple, very easy to punch. It's not the thickest cardboard in the world, but I'm sure it will do the job, as it were. Uh, I have a feeling these are probably some kind of endgame scoring bonuses or something, but, you know, I haven't read the rules. So. Mm, me either. Excellent. What do you have? Okay, so the cards that I um, opened are a little bit skinnier than these cards, and so I noticed that they fit very well in the top slots. So, as you can see, and I'm sure you're going to want to talk about this a little bit, when you put the card in, it actually can go down so that all that's visible is this, or, and there's a little divot here, let me get closer so you can really see that, there's that little divot, oh, but right, autofocus is off, so I can't do that, <laughs> <laughs> yes, um, so it shows, it so that you can see all of each of these circles that you may um, show throughout the game, I guess. I'm not really sure. And there's, as you can see, there are 
oh, it goes this way, which I know because the circles need to be on the right for that little divot. Um, so you may have a whole host of different cards going on and as the there are a total of five, <laughs> five places Basically for those cards. I stabbed myself trying oh to Oh my that gosh. One. You just put me in charge of all Would the cards. Would you please open these? Absolutely. Excellent. No more blood will be shed I'll today. get into this in just a sec. She gave you a pretty good overview that um, a lot of this, I said semi, semi engine building because a lot of this is going to, you're going to use it as the game goes on and then it's gone and you need to be replace it. So it's not going to be a complete tableau builder in where everything out there, you just build on the course of the game. This, these you'll burn through. Uh, so there's basically two different symbols going on here. There is, this is like to conquer and then there's also to buy. So if you look at the the top of these cards, if you wanted to gain this off of the display, uh, you could conquer it for one or buy it for zero, conquer it for four, buy it for two. So you're going to have these coins and trident symbols everywhere, and they're going to be used to do other things. So, for instance, in the, in the hand of cards, which is going to be these kinds of cards that you have, which uh, are going to give you actions that you play when you play a specific card, uh, you may decide to conquer something. For instance... You want to conquer that one, it's going to cost four. If I don't have anything in my hand, I could go, I'll pay, well, let's move this one up here. I'll pay two and three for five, now I can conquer it. And that would also work the same with uh, coin symbols and all of that across the side as well. So this is part of the, the way the board works, which is really awesome, is you know as you spend these things, then they'll eventually be gone. And all that you're left with here now is what it's worth at the end of the game. So one of these cards in your hand that are going to give you the different things to do is going to allow you to basically score that card. All right. So everybody's going to. I don't know which is the which is which as far we got three different backs going. Well, same three right. different of the same back going on. Yes, they were all in different. <laughs> these look like maybe these are heroes or villains. Okay. Kai the Nimble, Xander the Usurper, Mara the Shady, Soul the Great. All right, I have a feeling these are everybody's basic hands because we got Blue Water's Agent, the Legioner, Seahorse, Wave Teller, Sea Lord, Matrona, and then we're on to yeah, that makes sense. So yep. that would be that person's color slash symbol. Uh, that's another deck of exactly the same cards, exactly the same cards. And exactly the same cards. And everybody would start with these in their hand at the beginning of the game. Uh, this is a game in which you don't actually draw cards. You just have a whole hand. And then you choose whichever one you'd like to have those. And then eventually you'll play another card that lets you get them all back. So you can do it again. Uh, one of my favorite game mechanisms, actually. Yeah, that's true. You make us play a lot of games like that. I do, yes, because <laughs> they are fun for me. Yes. <laughs> so aside from your four main decks over here and all of the locations or whatnot that you would be using as, you know, conquering, buying, using as part of your engine, then you would also have, uh, these are the other cards that you would be able to buy off of the market. So these are just going to give you upgraded actions, different actions. Uh, I didn't really get into what any of them are, so it wouldn't make sense to try to explain why this is superior to something over there. <laughs> but as you can see, there's a good chunk of these, which you would then buy off of the market as well to add to your hand to play at any point in time and then get them all back also as well. Uh, on top of that, we have uh, basically one more piece to go here. And this is lots of stingrays. Lots Ooh. of stingrays. Stingray explosion. I'll be purple. And the stingrays are fairly cool as well. First of all, these are really well made. They just feel great. All right, but you will see that on one side they all have your symbol so these would be the blue multi-triangle players stingrays but they have bonuses on the other side as well so as long as they were in your pos uh, possession just like these cards you could say i'm going to spend a coin to do something and then at a certain point they would all get flipped back over to the other side as well and then in addition to everybody's set that are the same for all the different colors there's another set that can be gained i believe off the market for certain cards uh, as it were. And these are going to have all kinds of other bonuses. Yeah, I think that might be it, because it does definitely say plus two Stingray there, so I'm sure it works in there, especially because the, the purple is the coloring. Uh, I don't know if you can see the purple very well on there. Uh, that's one of the only criticisms I've heard of this game 
really is that it's really hard to see the purple on these. Quite frankly, it's not that bad up up close here, but if it was a little dark, it might be a little rough. It so. might be, or if you have any kind of color blindness, I don't know yeah, because I'm be not true. colorblind, so I don't know, but I can see how that might blend together. So as you see, there's a ton of these and they're all gonna have different bonuses and whatnot on those as well. So just, you know, circling back real quick, as I said earlier, this is basically your main board. It's going to have the market on it. Um, this this would be uh, where you could get scored. So, for instance, whatever this symbol means, you're the first person you're to do that. Fan. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. So, for instance, whatever this symbol means, if you were the first person to do that, you would sacrifice one of your stingrays no. and put it up here. Now, the obvious the good thing being you get a bunch of points for that. The bad thing being you're that, down a stingray. that stingray's out of the game now. Oh, sorry, Green. Indeed. Sorry, Green. All right, so so that actually makes sense. What these are, I'm sure these are just going to be a way of randomizing okay. what we're actually... There, I did it again. Oh. What we're actually scoring this game. Okay. Interesting. Okay. I wonder... I don't know. I wonder if this is, like, base game, like, and then once you've played this oh, and right. you're... It probably says that. If this is your first game, right. use, use these. the board. Yes. As they will be probably the most friendly and... Uh, uh, in, friendly interactive anyway right. something like that uh, and then of course down here this is, would be as I said you know where your different locations and then the different uh, character cards would be for you to possibly buy if that all makes sense and uh, overall that just about does it and this has been Aquatica let me make a bigger stack of stuff here. Oh, good. Aquatica yeah. by Ivan Tuvodsky. Indeed. All right. Well, thanks for joining us. And we will see you next time. See you next time.